Good afternoon traders, welcome to Trade Setup in the afternoon wrap for the 12th of October. Okay, the Australian ASX 200 uh, opened down as we expected and then pretty much found some strength and rallied into the close. Uh, currently trading around some uh, resistance zone that we'll go over later on. Uh, we're going to take a look at the price section for the day. We're also going to look at some, some levels to watch out for uh, over tonight and the coming days. We'll also take a look at the Aussie dollar, uh, go through the DAX, the European DAX, and we're going to look at the S&P 500 and some levels to watch out for over the coming days. Okay, looking at the 30 minute chart here of the ASX 200, uh, we were down these levels on the open, uh, closed down there um, from overnight. Uh, we were expecting a bit of a washout of 54.42 as it was extended um, and oversold. Now that did play out pretty much to a T and we were expected to push up to 54.66. Now it's only been the last um, half an hour or so we have actually pushed through that through that level there, 54.66. So it didn't provide much resistance. Uh, did touch it, pull back and then pretty much build, build a minor base intraday and then just push up through there. We are in overbought territory so I expect this is more of just a, a spike through that level than anything else. Um, if we are going to see higher levels you probably would expect a bit of a rollover, build that higher low, a major higher low uh, above 54.42, even a retest of that zone, and then a potential push back up through you know, 54.66 on its way to 55.08 to retest those highs uh, and push through. But we'll see how that plays out uh, tonight and the next few days. Okay, it's the Aussie dollar one hour chart, uh, pretty much opened and then you just pushed straight up uh, through 75.66. So it's been a pretty positive day today. We did expect that, I guess, after getting sold off from 76.24, we had that little washout, uh, pretty much a heavy sell off, a uh, bit of consolidation through here overnight, uh, and then pretty much open from over oversold territory uh, above 75.32, open just above that, and then bang straight back up. So, really, this is looking a bit tentative. We've got some rejection uh, candles here, just a few tails forming. So, we could look, we could pop up easily through 75.89, wash that zone out and then just start uh, rolling over. But we'll have to see how that plays out. It's obviously linked to how the US goes tonight and what happens with the US dollar and what their view is. But yeah, heading into overbought territory. So we expect a bit of a sellers to step in, even a bit of profit taking from that leg up today, but we'll see how that plays out. Over to the German DAX, the one hour chart here. Uh, well into oversold territory, just on the hard right edge at the moment. Uh, let's look at the structure. We've got to a key level on the daily basis uh, at 10,107. That's holding this latest leg up, and all we've seen since then is these highs hold at 10,800. We built a lower high at 10,700 at the moment, and we are coming off that level after touching it uh, last night, I think it was. So that that price action is pretty. It's it's getting a bit more contractive off that uh, 10,800, but still the key level for the daily is 10,107, and that's is holding up. So we potentially could hold the 10,455. Uh, if we hold that and we build that higher low uh, up here on a on an hourly basis, we just drill into that. If we can hold that level there uh, and and build that higher low, the potential will go straight up through ten seven hundred, retest ten eight hundred, and, and potentially we could just take out a few stops and wash out that zone there. Uh, we'll see how that plays out tonight and see what happens in the Europe. Okay, the final chart here, the US S and P five hundred. Uh, it's an hourly chart again. We're pretty much the opposite of um, the DAX in overbought territory just at this moment. Um, we have had that you know, major push down. We've had contracting higher, pushing back up to 2179. That level held. We've made a, a lower high at that 2173. And then again uh, at the 2166, we've had a couple of washouts of that zone, but that was really only to touch that, um, uh, that contraction zone or that, that sloping down trending resistance area around 2170. Uh, did get sold off pretty heavily last night, um, punched straight through that 2142 support support area, down to 2128, and we have bounced and we're potentially just retesting that 2142. So we'll see how that goes, Let's see if that can just roll over. It could just roll over, uh, build a higher low, and then just contract its way back up and, and do a similar type of price action, touch up and then roll over again. Uh, obviously we'll see how that goes, but the, I think the key level is down 2113. Uh, it's a long way off, but um, not out of the woods just yet. I thought this level 2142 would potentially hold up. Uh, it hasn't. You had a big wash out of that, uh, but that, that type of price action, that big spike lower, I'd expect a bit more contraction. Uh, if we do just head straight down, take out those lows at 21.28, we're heading down to 21.13, but that's a big move from here. Either way, it is overbought, so it would be interesting to see how that plays out around 21.42. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll speak again tomorrow. 
And don't forget traders, you can go to our YouTube channel to subscribe. Uh, just go to www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash trade setup AU and you can view all the uploaded videos we've taken so far.